Last of Us Part 2 was easily one of the best games of 2020. Actually one of the most talked about games of 2020. Even before the game release there were leaks coming out which made people hate the game. And after the game release people also hated the game. But there were a good amount of people who liked the game and a good amount of people who hated the game. So it was kind of a 50-50 deal for Last of Us Part 2 after it came out. But the game also had some controversies that people started to build upon and the hatred grew. And I have no absolute reason of why the hatred began but there is still that hatred. Now by the end of the year we also have this award part of the thing for games where various games win various awards based on categories and one of them is game of the year category. And very recently Golden Joystick Awards gave Last of Us Part 2 the ultimate game of the year uh, but not only that Last of Us Part 2 also won 5 other awards uh, in different categories. Now I'm happy that the game won the ultimate game of the year, whatever that means, but a lot of people do not like this and they hate it. They feel like if the story is so bad, how come it became the game of the year? Or if for some reason people even believe like Naughty Dog got so much hatred, how come their game became game of the year? It's all rigged, it's all bullshit, some other game should have won the game of the year. I didn't go through all the hate comments because I don't want to read them, but to me it's all nonsense. Now let me make this clear, I am not a fanboy of PlayStation, not a fanboy of Naughty Dog or a fanboy of Last of Us Part 2 or Last of Us in general. I'm just a guy who loves to play games and I love Last of Us because of the story, because of the number of elements, I love the game because of that. Now after the game came out, everybody had their opinions of whether they like the game or don't like the game. They must have their reasons, maybe they didn't like the story, maybe they did not like the characters, maybe they did not like how these characters were portrayed as. Everybody has different opinions of the game which made Last of Us Part 2 even more successful. And if you have those opinions, that's completely fine because I'm not gonna say like Last of Us Part 2 is the game of the year man, you should definitely uh, say that is the game of the year, you should definitely agree with me. I'm not gonna say that because everybody has their own opinions. But if we talk about the game of the year awards or just video game awards in general, people call it as rigged. I mean, does it really matter who won what, what awards was given to what game? Does it really matter? Will it change your world? Will it change the way you live? No, it won't. The only people these awards matters to are the people who made the game, the team who made the game, every single person who was involved in making the game, it's them what these awards matter to. And I'm so much happy that The Last of Us Part 2 got 6 different kind of awards which is absolutely phenomenal. Yes, the game got less reviews in Metacritic. Yes, some reviewers were also talking about the game, how it sucked and how the story was bad. Yes, a lot of people did not like the game. but. In spite of all of that, in spite of all the reviews, all the negativity, the game was still sold amazingly. It was even mentioned in an article that came out after the game release, after a few weeks of game release, is how The Last of Us Part 2 was the biggest exclusive sale of PlayStation 4. Now I should have probably reached like 6 million copies, who knows. As far as people liking the game or not liking the game, that's a sort of 50-50. Now, all these awards that Last of Us Part 2 won, the 6 awards that they won, it should not matter to you, it, it should not at all because if you want to play the game, you just buy the game and play it, that's simple as that. If you don't like these type of games and if you don't want to play the game, then don't play it. And if you're one of those guys who are very much affected by reviews and scores and that's how you play the game, well it's on you. But in general, I did not care about what game won what awards. I watch it because it's fun to see oh, what game got nominated in what category, who won the awards. It's fun to watch them. But if some game that I wanted to win an award for didn't win an award, I'm fine with it. Like a lot of people wanted Ghost of Tsushima to win certain kind of awards in Golden Joystick Awards. They didn't win any, which is completely fine because to me that game looks beautiful. That game looks marvelous. And the best part is I haven't played the game and I still love the game before even playing it because I've seen gameplays and it looks phenomenal. So for me, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us Part 2 and there are many more games that are easily the best games of 2020. And I hate that people talk about how the game awards are rigged, how these other award shows are rigged, which to be honest, they're not. There's no such thing as ultimate game of the year, whatever that means. There's no such thing as the game of the year. There's no such things like that. There will be games that stood out in this particular year. For example, there's so many games that stood out this year. We had Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course, Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades. So many good games that stood out in this year. I would take Phasmophobia that stood out this year. So, so many games that were so awesome in this year. It's all about just trying those games out, seeing what works for you, what doesn't, and so many games to play. And then you are wasting your time in thinking about if this game should have won an award, if that game should have won an award. Now this is not me kind of ranting, this is me trying to tell you guys that it should not matter to you at all. 
These game awards are just a way to celebrate games. These game awards are just a way to show the love for each of the games that there are. Even they are nominated or not, these games are there for celebration. We are celebrating games by the end of the year. That's what it matters. Awards should not matter. Who won what should not matter to you. Do you think that you will play a game just because that game became game of the year in some particular year? I don't think so because last year I believe Sekiro Shadows died twice, that game became game of the year. And I never played that game because I'm not into those games. So, no, I didn't play that game. I didn't like those kind of games, so I don't play it. Maybe I'll play it some point of time. Maybe I'll like it later on. I don't know, but for now, I don't play that game. So making these controversies is actually a waste of time. Uh, instead of that, just play the game. Wait for the sale and then buy the game. Play the game if you want to play it. That's it. These Metacritic scores that people didn't give a shit about, only gave a shit about when Last of Us Part 2 got so much hate, uh, should not even affect you at all. Well, this is what I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to let you guys know that this is not how you should be thinking. Instead, just play the goddamn games. Let me know in the comments below. Do you watch Game Awards? Do you get affected by it? Do you even care about these Game Awards? Let me know all of that in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, definitely do so because more content are coming up this year, next year, and the year after that, and even the year after that. And it continues. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and keep on playing games. For example, Cyberpunk that's coming next week.